Alright then gang, so in this video I'd like to talk just a little bit about something called Super Globals in PHP. Now Super Globals are special array variables in PHP and they're all pre-populated with values by the time that your code runs. And we can access these values from the Super Globals at any point in our PHP code. Now we've already seen two of them, get and post. These are both arrays, right? Because we use these square brackets to get values from those arrays. So these are super globals. Now all super globals are in this format, dollar sign, underscore, and then the name of the variable in capital letters. So I'd like to show you another super global in this tutorial. So what I'm going to do is echo each time the result here. And the super global I want to show you is dollar underscore server. And this is going to contain different information about the server. So for example, I could get the server name by passing in the server underscore name and these are all in capitals when we use these ones here we don't have to use capitals because these are the names of the input fields that we named ourselves but in this case they are capitals so i'm going to echo that first of all and i'm also going to concatenate because we're going to do several echoes here a br tag so that every time we echo it's a new line okay so let's save this i'm still in sandbox.php so let's go to the uh the web browser and refresh and we see localhost. So that is the server name and that makes sense because we're using localhost, aren't we, to serve our files. Okay, so that's one piece of information out of the server super global, but we can get other information as well. For example, I'm gonna do this again, echo, and then dollar underscore server, and then this time I'm gonna look for the request underscore method. So this is gonna output the request method we used to get this PHP page. So if I save this and refresh, we can see get, okay? Okay, so instead of writing it all out again, what I'm gonna do is just duplicate it a couple more times and I'm gonna change these things over here. So this time I'm gonna do the script and then underscore file name and the bottom one down here, I'll just comment out for the time being, save that and refresh and we can see this is the script that we're executing. So it's on the C drive, XAMP folder, htdocs, tuts, sandbox.php. So it's the whole path to this file. So that can be useful. And also I'm gonna do echo server, and this time it's gonna be php underscore self. Okay, so save that and refresh. And notice we get, okay, an error. That's because we've misspelled this save it again and refresh notice we get this thing right here okay so from localhost it's going and this path so the path of our current file relative to localhost now this one right here this can be quite useful when we're creating forms so say for example over here we have this add.php page this is from the project and down here in the form when we say the action is add.php, sometimes what you might see is this instead. So PHP and then echo, can I spell? No. And then we're going to use that super global server and then we want to use PHP underscore self because that is going to be the action that we want to take, this current page. So it's going to give us this thing right here but this is gonna be add instead of sandbox because that's where we're adding it from. And now, no matter what we call the file, even if we change it later on, we don't need to update this then because we now have PHP self and it's just getting the name of the file for us. So I'm gonna close that PHP tag, save this. I'm gonna go try the add again. So let's go to add.php and see if this works. So your email, I'm just gonna say test at test.com. Um, we'll call this a test pizza and we'll just say cheese and tomato. Okay, so if I submit now, then it still works, right? It's still working because this is saying, okay, we'll get the current page, PHP self, from this server, super global, and I want you to output that here. So it's outputting forward slash tuts, forward slash add.php. So that's a good use of that. Now, there are other super globals as well, and in particular, we're going to talk about two more in the up and coming videos. The first one I want to talk about is going to be the cookie, or rather, probably the session super global. And the second one I want to talk about is going to be the underscore 
Cookie Super Global. So we're going to talk about both of those in the up and coming videos.